As New York prepares for tomorrow's arraignment of former President Donald Trump, the case brings to mind another president. In 1972, the Watergate scandal prompted impeachment hearings and a grand jury investigation into President Richard Nixon. An 11 Alive viewer asked us to verify if Nixon, like Trump, was indicted by a grand jury. Jerry Carnes of our Verify team is here with the answer. Well, good morning. The Watergate scandal rocked the country. It forced President Nick Richard Nixon from office. Seven people who were part of his administration were indicted by a federal grand jury and all of them served time in jail. 44 years after all of that, the National Archives released documents that reveal a grand jury's view of Nixon's involvement in the scandal. In 1972, President Richard Nixon enjoyed one of the biggest landslide victories in U.S. history as voters sent him back to the White House for a second term. The celebration didn't last. The Watergate scandal ended Richard Nixon's political career. Documents released in 1974 show a grand jury plan to indict the president on criminal charges. Was he ever officially charged with any crimes? Let's verify. Our sources are the National Archives and grand jury documents released in 2018. In June of 1972, while Richard Nixon was campaigning for re-election, five men were caught breaking into the headquarters of the Democratic National Committee on the sixth floor of the Watergate Hotel. The president denied any involvement, but evidence tied the burglars to the committee to re-elect the president. Audio tapes linked President Nixon to a cover-up. Documents released by the National Archives include a draft presentment from a federal grand jury. Dated February 1, 1974, the draft presentment states that Richard Nixon, quote, unlawfully, willfully, and knowingly conspired to commit offenses against the United States. The six-page document shows the grand jury planned to charge Nixon with bribery, conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and obstruction of a criminal investigation. As Congress prepared to impeach him, President Nixon resigned on August 8, 1974. A month later, President Gerald Ford pardoned Nixon, protecting him from criminal prosecution. So we can verify that while a draft report shows a federal grand jury was willing to indict Richard Nixon, the president was never officially charged with any crimes. Years after Watergate, President Bill Clinton was impeached by the House but cleared by the Senate on perjury charges related to the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Mr. Clinton made an arrangement with a special, special prosecutor that allowed him to avoid prosecution on criminal charges after he left office. Very insightful, Jerry. Thank you.